What if you've had a surveyor send you information? I go file, new, create a blank document. So it's a completely blank file. It's got no template information. It's got no title blocks, no nothing, no plants. Now the reason this is important is that when we scale this to make sure it's the right size, we're going to scale everything in this particular file. That means scaling all the text, all the line styles, all the title blocks, all the symbols, everything. I've got one here, it's in the resource file, so you can use this one as well. So here's my DWG file here, the siteplan.dwg. Drag that in, let go of your mouse, this dialog box will open. But we need to look at the advanced properties here. So the conversion, I want this to be all 2D. I think it's important to add a prefix to our imported layers. I'm going to put the letter S for survey. Now this is really handy, and if you do this importing a lot, with your surveyor, save the settings. So if you save the settings, that means that every time you import from this particular surveyor, you don't have to go through all these steps. You can just grab hold of this and choose the surveyor and it'll work really well. So here are my settings here. So it would just be so much quicker. You say, oh, I'm importing from my surveyor. Choose those settings, does all the settings for you. So let's click OK and see what we get. So there's my project there. It was really quick to import. Now we know the length of this is actually in meters. So it's 50.494 meters. So when we go modify scale objects, we're going to use symmetric by distance. We're going to click at this corner up here. I'm just going to use my Z key to zoom in. And down here again, the Z or the Z key to zoom in. Now we know that was 50.494 M. Now, if even if you're in, using imperial measurements, it's really handy to be able to put the meter dimensions in. We're going to scale text. Now notice that the entire drawing here is selected and there's nothing I can do about it. You sure we're going to do this? Yes. And there it is. It's now the right size. So I'm now convinced this is the right size and I can go ahead and convert this information into 3D information for my site model.